morning everyone hi it is Sunday I think it's Sunday June 27th yeah I know it's been a while since I have done a video and I really do want to tell you I'm sorry um, it's my dog in the background however uh, you know I was told right off the bat early on do lives they're easier you don't have to put any effort into it they're automatically loaded up and I fell into that laziness I really did <laughs> and I apologize for that because I really do enjoy doing my videos and putting some effort into it and putting like a a, a pre you know little video and an after little video and editing and all that good stuff you know so I really want to tell you that I apologize for being so lazy and I'm going to do some more videos because I enjoy it and it takes a little time and care and and effort to put you know something out good for you guys to watch so I want to tell that I also want to say thank you Ooh, isn't that gorgeous I think this is from Anne Marie from Angel Star Car Karma Angel Star Star Karma. You can go there and uh, definitely buy up some stuff. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's a feather. Kind of see the little thing with, the sh with, of course, the chakras. Ah, thank you so much, my dear. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I also have a few things. I am going to do some remote viewing. I have a list of, of uh, subjects here. One is the Biden dog. I, I don't know why, but I feel, feel kind of uh, connected because I've lost a few of my dogs and then the, and then Biden lost uh, his dog. I wanted to see if uh, Biden's dog had any my dog, any um, thoughts or anything he wanted to tell Biden. Not that Biden's ever going to watch any of my videos, but it's out there just in case he ever does come across it. I don't know why. I start a video and she has to do that. So there's that. Okay. I love her and she can do whatever she wants in my house except for use it as a toilet. <laughs> I have boundaries. All right. So um, also I wanted to do the wave of COVID and the Delta uh, variant. See how it's going. See if it's really strong. See if it's going what it where it's what it's going to do. I also have uh, Betsy DeVos. I also am going to do Amy McGrath. She's up against Mitch McConnell. I also want to do Pompeo's wife. Um, somebody had said in their readings that there is a woman behind all of these things with the uh, insurrection, with all of the goings on, and somebody you know somebody said something about Pompeo's wife really being involved in all of that. So. I'm going to see if she's the woman behind all of the chaos because, yeah, that has been coming up so many times. Also, I wanted to say thank you to whoever, uh, I can't remember the name because I don't have the, the package up here, but they sent me this. Thank you. I have to study these because they're not normal, so I have to look at them and go over them and, and make sure that I know exactly uh, what they mean. I also received these. These are, I don't know if anybody's ever used these. These are the Hag uh, cards from a Mildred Payne. I call them Hag. They're probably something else, like secret. They're like the secret pocket oracle. Secret pocket oracle, and they're really, really tiny. And they are symbols. So if you know what a frog means metaphysically or the numbers or something like that, then you can give a good uh, reading. Also, it comes, you can always print out what it all means as well. So there's that. I had to do that so that I could be refreshed on what that is. Okay. I know I'm doing a lot of rambling, but you know what? Yeah. There's going to be somebody will say something. You know, if I don't look in the camera, somebody will say look in the camera. If I, you know anything if I don't show my cards somebody says that show please show your cards if you know, it, it's it doesn't matter what I do there's always somebody that wants the opposite from me and 
Sorry, dears, but it's just going to be me and my decisions at this point in time. I'm well aware of what needs to be done for, for uh, YouTube and the subscribers. So if I only get one complaint, I'm going to move on because the majority wins. And also, I, am, I have printed out, I'm burning some sage after I said that. I also printed out the senators who are up for election. All of the senators, there's 14 Democrats that are up for a re-election in 2022, and there's uh, 20 Republicans that are up for a re-election. However, minus five, one, two, three, four, five, because they are going to, they announced that they are going to retire. Now, before anybody comes for me, if the information I got off of the internet yesterday is not up to date, please let me know, but do not come for me. I can only do what I can do online with the current information. I'm not doing it today. So I have, we have Roy Blunt of Missouri. He has announced that he is retiring. We also have Richard Burr from North Carolina has announced that he is retiring. We also have Rob Portman from Ohio has announced that he is uh, retiring. We also have Richard Shelby from Alabama. Um, he has announced that he is retiring. And then we also have Patrick Toomey from Pennsylvania has announced that he is retiring. Now, if there's any more other than these five that I've gathered currently off of the internet from last night, then please let me know. Um, oh, we also have um, from Arkansas, we have Idaho, Iowa, North Dakota, Wisconsin, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Utah, Kansas, Alaska, Kentucky. We also have Florida, South Carolina, South Dakota, and Indiana which is really weird because almost every single one of them, less Wisconsin maybe, or Louisiana, whichever one, I can't remember which one are blue, but are, are all red states. We have the Democrats. We have Colorado, Connecticut, Nevada, Illinois, New Hampshire. We also have Arizona, Vermont, Washington, California, Hawaii, New York, Maryland, and Georgia, and Oregon. So most of them are also uh, Democratic states. I find that kind of weird. But there's that. If anybody wants me to do a reading on their senator of their state who is up for re-election, let me know. Put it in my comments and I'll definitely get a video out with the senators and doing readings and seeing how their campaign is going to go. I also have all the House representatives. The, every single one of them are up for election, of course, in um, 2020. Well, January 3rd of 2023 is the end of theirs. So all of the House representatives are up for re-election, of course, for 2022. I have them. So if there's anybody that wants to know or wants to do a um, reading on that, let me know. Let me know because I have them all. I have them all. And I've looked at them. Most of them are lawyers. I find that really weird. Why is that? I would never. I would think that you would make more money as a lawyer, but whatever. Okay. Enough intro. It's ten minutes worth of information, or less, because I probably would have edited this. Okay. Let's do into Di Biden's dog, and I am also going to throw on. Biden's dog with just like one or two cards. Everything that I do today, my new cards. I know. I love the new cards. Solace Divinity. Etsy. Or is Amazon. Etsy or Amazon. But those are the new cards that I have. And they're beautiful. They're gold. Maybe a little easier to see on camera because that's another complaint. I can't see your cards. I'm sorry. Good God. Okay. I always challenge everybody to listen to the message. These are some stiff cards. Oh. Sound effects are free. Yes, I'm salty today. Salty. 
today. I got attitude today. It is what it is. Hey, you guys can follow me on TikTok. I have the tarot card chick is my uh, TikTok channel page. I don't even know what you call it on TikTok. So if you want to do that, fair warning, I do cuss on TikTok. So you get to hear that and you get to uh, experience meaty conversations because I have a thing going on asking the Trump supporters questions. <laughs> None of them want to answer, but I'm asking them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, come join me on TikTok if you do TikTok. Here we go. I also I also do um, Twitter, but I don't understand it very well. But I still am on there. And of course, you can always join me on my Facebook page, where I do a lot of funny things because I like funny stuff. Here we go. Here we go on Biden's dog. I got this all shuffled. Let's do a, a remote on Biden's dog. I feel Biden's dog. I don't know why, but I just kind of feel him. <sighs> the only message that he has for, he loved um, Biden's wife the m more. He was really close to Biden's wife. I mean, he loved Joe, but his wife was really um, his favorite. He says he went peacefully. He said that he didn't hurt. He, of course, wants them to get another one. He says he didn't want to be a burden at the end either. He's very sweet. I see somebody always like grabbing his hand and kissing his snout. He was very, very, very loved and very taken care of. He lived a long, good life. Okay. Yeah. What a sweet dog. I'm so glad I was able to tap into that and um, increase abundance and superfility. So this is the, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, which is fortune, success, luck. Of course, the dog won the lottery. <laughs> you know, the Wheel of Fortune. He was a very fortunate dog um, to have lived with the Bidens. So say goodbye. I, don't, I can't remember. Is it major or... Champ. It was Champ. Sorry. Champ. Age 13. Champ. It was Champ who died. Okay. All right. So let's do the wave of the um, Delta vi um, variant and see what's going on with the Delta variant. I always take a deep breath so that my lungs and my body is replenished before I go into a, a remote. That's, why, that's the reason why I take a deep breath. Okay, so the, the, the Delta variant, this is weird. Um, so, okay, the Delta variant is like in a black, huge, great big old huge black box that somebody is carrying around this black box. And they're like pointing to it. Look. 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 And that's what this is. That's what they're showing me. I don't know what exactly that means. I don't understand. Maybe it is being. Um, maybe somebody is is containing it. And they're showing everybody. Look, we're containing it. Look, we're containing it. But I also see it seeping out 
all the crevices of this box, like in a dark mist, it's, it's, it's seeping out. Okay, this is even stranger. <laughs> Somebody literally just came up behind the person that was carrying this box. Look, look, and tripped him. And he fell forward and the box busted and the variant just was let loose. This is weird. What are these pictures? So it's kind of reminding me, I've asked what these, what these pictures mean. It kind of reminds me of possibly that the uh, scientists or whoever created this COVID-19 or whatever has happened said, kept on lying that it was contained. Look, it's contained. Look, it's okay. It's contained. Look, it's okay. Although it was still seeping out into the community. And then he trips on his big lie. And now it's another, um, it's out, it's out of the box. Okay. So spirit, show me, and I still, I still, I do see this person as maybe somebody from China. Like the ethnicity of, of this person. So let's move all the way from China, from China, all the way over to the United States. What is it doing? Oh, gosh. Ah. So it's showing me it's sneaking up from the ocean and just that's what exactly what it just showed me. Like it has traveled over the ocean and has hit our shores and is it is um ugh kind of reminds me of a volcano where the um pyro something i forget the name of the this the the dust or the whatever and that's what it's doing that's what it looks like for me like it's come up and over i know somebody will remind me somebody will tell me the name of that volcano and pyroclastic or something like, like that okay all right let me re do some cards on that and see what the tarot says about the variant. It's coming if it's not here already. I got the hermit. Also, especially with, um, you know, this one here it talks about um, treason, disillusion, corruption, corruption. Okay, so that's the story on the variant, if we haven't had enough already, but just remember if you're vaccinated, and if you're not vaccinated, wear your mask, that is the one of the best um, defenses against this, and even if you are vaccinated, wear a mask, if this is something that worries you, do so, please, please keep yourself safe, um, isolate as much as you can, not necessarily isolate, but at least, you know, keep from going into great big old huge crowds and publics. Because it sounds like that's where it's heading. Okay, let's do Betsy DeVos. Now she is still saying, I don't know where the kids are. I don't know where the kids are. I don't know where the kids are. Now I'm going to go into her and find out if she knows where the children are. Now, here's something horrible that's been coming through to my mind. Do you know how how we have now found all of these other these other indigenous children who have been having mass graves especially up in Canada? Yeah. I hope this is not this uh, a history repeating itself because yeah. I don't know. But that is like I kept it like they kept on telling me the story and then it would switch over to these migrant children and they would tell me the story about the indigenous children who um, found a mass graves up in Canada and then it then the picture would switch over to the in, the migrant children so ooh, 
All right. Betsy DeVos, does she know anything? They just showed me she's in this dark room and she's talking to this person with a shadow over their face. And she says, I don't care what you do with them. And then she goes out into public and pretends this, that, and the other. And then she's back in this, this dark room again with this shadow face. And she says, again, I don't care what you do with them. Just don't tell me. I don't want to know. And that person goes off and says, okay. I'm asking Spirit if she's going, if it's going to be found out. And I don't see any light on the subject just yet. I'm trying to file, follow that shadow person as that person walks away from her. I'm trying to find out who it is. It's somebody. It's somebody unknown. It's an unknown face. Oh. And she literally asked to not know so that she can claim, I don't know. But she, she's, she's the one that says, I don't care what you do with them. Because she wants to keep her job. She doesn't want it to be a problem. The less I know, the better off I'm going to be. Jesus. Help these kids. Okay, I'm trying to find the children. And I can't. I mean, there is a scene of the children like crawling backwards, turning around, getting up, and running. There is that scene, but it doesn't look like a whole lot of them. But a lot of them do get away. <sighs> Alright, I'm coming back out. That's too much. Too much. Okay, too much. All right, so let me pull a card on that. Oof, cards are going everywhere. Scattered information, scattered energy. Oh. Anxiety, worry, fear, depression. If you live close to a border, do all you can to find out, expose, search, all of it. That's what we can do. We, you know, just sitting back and doing nothing is not an option anymore, especially for these migrant children to find out what happened. Ask questions. Do what you can. All right. God bless them. Keep them safe. All right. So I'm going to go into Amy McGrath. Uh, she is up against uh, Mitch McConnell. Ooh. I just saw her with a tool belt. I saw her with like a screwdriver, a hammer, and a tool belt where she's going in like, I'm going to fix this problem. I'm going to expose what happened. I'm going to fix this problem. She has a direct line to a senator 
telling them everything that she knows, everything that she saw, everything that's going on, detail by detail by detail. Oh, I think it's like, I think there's going to be an investigation into Kentucky's uh, electrical uh, 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 elections. I think they're going to go in and investigate that. Somebody, that's what she's doing. That's with her tools. I need you to investigate this. I need you to go look at this. See what's going on. See how he got in. She doesn't believe it either. She's behind the scenes um, doing it. So, yeah. So that's what she's doing right now. And until she gets into the, gets to the bottom of the situation... She knows that she can't move forward. She knows that there's no chance if they don't fix the reason why they keep on re-electing um, Mitch McConnell or how he's getting in. Hmm. So that's where she's at. That's what she's doing. Let's see what the cards say. Ooh, I got two of them. I got two of them where success, public recognition, progress, and self-confidence. So that's what she's doing is she's getting in there and, and charging and getting that fixed up and the mental clarity. And so she's getting there and finding out the mental clarity, the, uh, the problem, seeing what's going on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good for her. I'm glad I did a remote on her. That's good news. All right, so I am going to, I don't, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but Pompeo's wife, uh, like I said before, a lot of people are trying to, uh, they keep been coming up with a woman behind the scenes, woman behind the scenes, and I have asked and asked and asked, who is this woman behind the scenes? And somebody was telling me that she had a lot to do with um, January 6th, that she has a lot to do with a lot of things. Like she's been on calls, she's been behind the scenes, she's been behind her husband, she's been, you know, all of this good stuff. And so I wanted to go in and, and check on her and see what's going on. So give me a sec. See what spirit shows me. Spirit literally just showed me, like, her coming up behind her husband and popping him in the back of his head. Like, what are you doing? Why are you saying it this way? What are you doing? That was weird. I see her friends with other, all the other wives. Like, like, uh, Melania is there, um, Pence's wife is there, and Mitch McConnell's wife is there. You know, she, so it's like, gets them all together and keeps them, oh, keeps them focused, keeps them under wraps. I see, uh, Pence's wife sitting there. And shaking her head at her like that. Shaking her head at her. Like she's not on board. But she gathers them. She like gathers them and she brings in the, you know, the poisonous cookies. That's what she's doing. That's very interesting. Okay, so she goes and has these little things to get together, and then they all sit around and talk, 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 talk. She gets mental notes, and she brings all of that talk, talk, talk back to her husband. Back to other people who will listen. That's what she's doing. That's what she's been doing. That was her role, is to keep information flowing mm -mm -mm -mm. Oof. 
I see the spirit just showed me as a, um, you know how those rose bushes and then the head was pinched off, but she's the, the thorn. She's the thorns. That's how they just showed me a picture of her. Mm. Hmm. All right. Who knows if she's the woman, but her, she was definitely in there uh, making, making chaos and creating chaos. So there's that. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So anyways, I think I'm going to end it here. I don't want this video to be too overly long. I know my video, I keep on hitting my table and my video keeps on moving around. Ugh. The things. Days like this. Mama said that there'll be days like this. So, all right, everyone. You have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for always watching. I really do appreciate this. Bye. <laughs>